Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, great fucking episode. Yes. Well done, Terry Metallis. Yeah, so yeah. We're on, yeah, we're on episode nine, season three of Picard, um, and that is called Vox. Vox. Um, so I just watched that like an hour ago, um, and it was it was great. And I and I'm not ashamed to say that at one moment I went <laughs> like that. I couldn't help myself. Oh, it's like, great! I was like, "Oh no!" It's a total gift. It's my youth. Thank you. Yeah, there's some fa- fantastic, um, fantastic moments. Right, so there's quite. We basically know what's happening now. Yeah. Effectively in the story, and um, so we 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 started off there, um, picking up after last episode, which was um, Di- uh, Diana, Diana basically saying let me hold your hands and you know um muck around inside your head and we'll find <laughs> out what's going on because she likes yeah. that sort of thing um and so so we see that and she you know we can see him sort of inside his inside his sort of subconscious looking at the red door and the and the vines because she kept saying what are the vines and i was like what's yeah. that about and he was and then he was saying connection it's about linkage and i was always oh, the great link you know this is what yeah. we're talking about and then interesting bit so she opens the door and goes oh and then just le- legs it from the I room know. right and he's like what did you see and she runs away so goes sorry and then literally i'm not going to tell you what's in your brain yeah but then less than 20 seconds later there's a flashback and i was like do you have a flashback straight because she she went to the captain and sort of went oh. And then start to, and then flash back, and I was like, "Can you have a flashback of something that happened twenty seconds ago?" It was weird, um, but I think that was all for our benefit. Yeah, yeah. I think I think so. No, mm. it worked, but it was just a thing that I, I picked up on. But um, and then what did she see, Michelle? Oh well, no, I just yeah. wanted to say what I really liked about it was the crimson uh, arboreum. That's a beautiful, oh, I I, beautiful yeah. turn of phrase, that is. I, read, I think I might have written that yeah. down somewhere. Yeah, I did. Crimson Arboretum. Arboretum. Yeah. Yeah, on, yeah beautiful turn of phrase. A bit some, of Latin. On some planet, yeah, because yeah. you know, it's talking about, again, connection of the... Uh, the, the and it was said about the roots surface. underground all yeah. connected. It's all about his neurons and his head and about yeah. the collective, blah, blah, blah. It's like a childhood memory of his that, was, uh, that has been blended into this... Well, what you know, what he saw behind the door. Yeah, I kind of let the cat out of the bag there. Not, not really. Not yet. Collective, I said. Oh, so you did. So, so, so when, <laughs> so when <laughs> Diana opens the door, surprise! Yeah. It's the Borg. It's the fucking <laughs> Sorry. Borg. And I, <laughs> and my, my first reaction was, "I'm right." I was yeah. fucking right. I said, Man, all you the had way it through. right from the beginning. You right from you, the beginning. You, right from the beginning, you were going on about the bog. I was like, "What is this arsehole talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> Leave the bog no, alone. You were bang on, uh, mm. the, and and the, um, the collaboration between uh, the liquids, the you know, the changelings, and but you man, you were totally bang on. Yeah, you totally, you I, totally called it. But I think that was like it was. I think. I mean, I just knew for me that would just be a great idea to see it's a fucking great I idea mean, i was talking about the cutest of borg you know that's why and we kind of got yeah, i mean we didn't, we didn't picard in walking around but like yeah. But yeah it turns out you know picard had um remnants of the borg and uh, but not technological like kind of like biological yeah what a great and, idea and, and i thought it was funny because picard goes that's why I could hear the voices after I'd had all my stuff removed, you know, like to explain why he did it. Cause yeah, like, obviously yeah. that was something it's, that it's was still, it's still connected. But I think in yeah. some way, um, you know, seven is also still, you know, I mean, yeah. I don't think you'll ever get over something like that. Someone's just rammed some yeah. nodes into you and your part, you know, you've been made into a machine slave, you know, but you're not going to get over that. But she's still got her implants, isn't she? So it's more understandable with her, really. Yeah, um, but but I even I don't even think they can get rid of them completely. No, 
ever and, and also there's the nanoprobes yeah you know which are could, cellular yeah. you know molecule sized things that are sort of running yeah. around you they're not going to be able to flush that out no you know so so it turns out the eremotic syndrome or something that's probably the first time i've said that properly but um it was basically a as picard himself said a seed that was like deliberately or left there a red herring a red herring <laughs> plot wise plot wise yeah well i suppose yeah yeah, yeah oh it... yeah absolutely like they dismissed like and like the way geordie says yeah that was you know we just didn't have the technology to understand this 35 years ago it's like you know okay fair enough you know but, um <clears throat> so so basically picard is like it, it, he's passed that on to jack and it is and and it seems like maybe that was their plan all along. Bit of an elaborate plan, but um, but or yeah, but maybe they've got they've time. Just, they're patient as well. And they've, or they, you know, it's just something that they've you know, it's a long game thing. Um, so Jack is basically like it's different with Jack. So he the 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 biological as, uh, aspect of the Borg is um much more developed, you know, than it what than Picard had in his old body. But also they did say that um. Uh, forgotten his name. Jack was the, like a transmitter, the Vox of the title, and uh, Picard was the receiver. Um, yeah. So you know that's so. I mean that was. I'm going with it. You know what I mean? I'm totally. No, going it's a with nice it. idea. I like the idea that yeah. they've implanted um, Borg technology into a person. Yeah. You can't get over it, but it's dormant, and in within his um, sex organs, within his gametes. These, uh, you know, that they've developed into um, a biological techno um, yeah. cell, yeah. You know, and they've passed it through um, sexual conception um, onto Jack. So I like that idea. Yeah. No, it's a good idea. It, it, yeah, yeah, it's um, great. But, but it was really good seeing the cube. I was just like, yes. Yeah, and the bad again. The bad again. Yeah, the yeah, that's the fucking true. Bad again. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like I didn't. I haven't looked at. I mean, I know Alison Pill is in the credits, but we didn't see her. We didn't see her face. Uh, so basically, Jack's like, you know, um, Picard has a bit of a chat with Jack, yeah. and he's like, "This is the situation," and Jack sort of gets all emotional. I felt, I felt, I felt bad for Jack. Yeah, I did absolutely. And like, Picard she, was I mean, like. Diana just runs away from him and you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. And she goes and tells his dad. Like, yeah. rather, you know, that's... Your that, son. Sorry, excuse me, <laughs> but I feel like that's um, very... Uh, I mean, she's supposed to be a counsellor, isn't she? Yeah, it was unprofessional, wasn't it, really? Yeah. I mean, what about his feelings and but stuff? She did, yeah, she just ran away. Yeah. She ran away and then she gone and told somebody else. And yeah. then she was going banging on about protocols and he's dangerous. Yeah. I thought, oh, God, Diane, you've fallen a long way, you have. <laughs> yeah. The fucking dobbed him into his dad. Do you know what I no. mean? No. I mean, at least tell him what's done. fucking going on. I'd yeah. be so pissed off if that happened to me. Yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. It's proper unprofessional. If you go and see a psychiatrist and they go, fuck this. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, confidentiality oh, out the window. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, doctor. <laughs> well, even though you need a bloody doctor, but but that was but that was good. So Picard comes back and he lays it down on the light, lays it down for him pretty much, and says, "It's the Borg. This isn't your fault. This is my fault." Um, Picard, uh, Pic uh, Jack is pissed off, obviously. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, Jack, you know, Picard basically says to him, "Look, the Borg are they're, they're our greatest enemy, effectively. Right? We can't just sort of let you wander around anymore." And um, and uh, and and Jack just instantly goes no, and just like take takes over, takes over to oh, I the, do guards, the same. you know, yeah. But then yeah. I wonder what Jack was trying to get out of it, really. Like, oh right, oh, right I'm off to see Borg, which is quite well, clearly obviously. Put him in a plan. fucking Vulcan Institute and have him chopped up. Yeah, but I mean, you know, you might, uh, uh, you know, you might have to. I mean, that might be a nice life, you know, not chopped up. But you know, oh, just get away from all this. You'd be a lab. You'd be a lab rat. He's the yeah. first of his kind. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but he, fuck he, that he, shit. But no. Like straight, straight away, he goes, oh, okay. I'm He's just, already you know, had his trust betrayed. Yeah. 
But well, then he's just like, I'm gonna I'm just gonna assimilate some crew members and just get out and stuff like that. But I went with it. He um, didn't assimilate them, he just took over their minds. Yeah, the bastard. Yeah, yeah well, right. I mean, he didn't he didn't shove like nanoprobes into his face and like no, make them true. all grey. Yeah, but no, like, but he like still kind of like buggered them up. I mean those poor people. I wonder if they're inside screaming like ah, Probably. probably. Maybe but, like, I mean, louder than that. They were going to put him in an institution yeah. and some Vulcans were going to chop him up. Yeah. So, obviously and that also... Was, that was how to justify his reaction, obviously. Well, of course. Yeah. And, and, and you're De- correct. Deanna's already betrayed his trust by, like, yeah. going, I found out what's in your mind. I'm not going to tell you what it was. Yeah. I'm going to fuck off to your mum and dad and tell them, and then I'm going to enforce <laughs> some kind of protocol that will yeah. put you in an institution. <laughs> no. Yeah, exactly. No, that that was terrible. Yeah, she just sort of like goes, "No, I'm not having any of this." Gone off away. There now. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, but basically, Jack, you know, just gets away, grabs the shuttle, deletes the transponder as you do, and then just like, "Where am I going?" And he hears the voice, um, you know, of the of the ball queen, and he just punches him some coordinates and like, whoosh, there he is. And like five minutes later, he's there. Yeah. Um, and so we find him in some star system that's all mucked up. He can hear the voice, and then there's a trans warp. Can't do it. Other, and it's the bloody the Borg cube, and then he transports on board. Oh, trans warp can't do it. It's yeah. fucking brilliant. Trans-warp, Why has no yeah. one else been able to do them? It's, oh, well, I tell you what it was. Is they the computer was saying increased tachyon field or something, and I'm like, oh god, is some if he's going back in no, time? No, but the, that's how you do. You've got you've got a bend time and space yeah. to to make a trans warp conduit i know but i mean i think tachyons are great <laughs> you know but yeah <laughs> no i do but i think tachyons are great but like now i just think every time tachyon feel it's like oh no we're gonna go back to the 20th century in the bronx or something yeah, like that no but, but, um, i'm Borg, glad that didn't happen Borg are doing that shit all the time yeah no, that, there the Borg cube was proper a proper dump as well wasn't it really dark wires everywhere i mean they're always a bit like that yeah, it looked like, like kind of like a, an 18th century sewer with a bit did, more piping. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which, which I think is, you know, again, making her more dark. And you only see her when he eventually catches up to her. You only if that's see her from Alison behind. Hill, I thought she was supposed to be good. I mean, mm. it was all done and dusted at the end of uh, season two. Good question. Let it rest in peace. But, yeah. um <laughs> But what you know? But I'm glad they I'm glad they're bad again because they are the yes. they are great baddies. They've got a, you know they're a force of nature. The, yeah. All they want to do is proliferate, get in there, take everything over, and be perfect. That is their mm. only motivation, and and I'm really glad it's got back to that yes. now. Yeah, pro- proper. Uh, you know, I mean, that must have been like a executive decision of the of the writers. I think you know. Yeah. So, so I mean, it's interesting to see how they. Because, I mean, they've quite clearly shown that they're very smart writers. So they're going to have to somehow have Alison Pill, you know, they, they have to address what's happened in the past. So I don't wonder how they're going to do that. I mean, if she saves the day again, I don't, that's going to lose my shit. But. Well, I mean, they could say that, um, I mean, she went in there with all the hopes of, you know, making the ball queen unlonely. And, unlonely? Um, yeah, because she said, "Oh, she's lonely. I'll, yeah. I'll just go and give her a chat, and you yeah. know, be a friend." I'm fucking lonely. Jesus sort Christ! Out. Yeah, well, everyone's lonely. Everyone's Everyone alone. is lonely. Everyone's alone. But um, yeah, <laughs> but the thing is, I think if you're going to go in with that mindset of naivete, I yeah. think that um. Uh, you know, it'd be quite easy for them to take over her. There's more minds in there than just the Borg Queen, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. Anywho. I mean, again, there's not a lot of other Borg going on in that cube or something like that. But that's no. basically, I think that's where we left Jack. I think that was sort of his last involvement um, in the uh, in the episode, I think, that we just sort of left him there. And um, yeah, so <clears throat> I know Bev had like a moment where she was like... Um, Going on about her uh, pseudo science, you know, she just figured all the, uh, you know. Um, oh, they were yeah. talking about. Um, so, um, Sung recognised what was in Picard's body. That's why they kept him. Um, mm. uh, Doctor Sung, and um, he, he recognised it as organic technology, and yeah. um, and that probably came from Lacusis. Uh, yeah, which is great. 
That all yeah. made, it all makes sense now. It all kind of yeah, makes sense. It does. Um, so I thought that was great. But yeah, I mean, Bev has really failed as a mother. Oh, you God, know? I know. And as a doctor. And as a doctor, oh, yeah. No. She's been, you know, because she said, you know, she does say, you know, she gave Wesley some space and she, he disappeared. You know what I mean? I mean, that might say something about he her. He became as well, a time lord of some shit, didn't he? Yeah, he um, did. Yeah, he was traveler. just like, yeah, fuck this stuff. I'm off to another dimension. You know, my mum's my, shit. Yeah, my mum's <laughs> shit. <laughs> and then so then she said, you know, so um, so with Jack, she watched him closer. And I was like, well, maybe that was your mistake. Um, well, we, I'm being a little hard on Bev there. But, but you know, um, she didn't seem doom miffed by it all. But like, um, so so we basically then go, okay, we need to trot off to um, Frontier Day. Oh yeah, Frontier Day, happens, isn't it? So you know, and uh, and then we see, um, we get we get there, and oh, uh, what I wanted to say about that, yes, fireworks in space. Your thoughts? I, saw, I must say, I kind of enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I think it's because you could see. Because I mean, that was. I'm just, Earth I'm just trying to see if you can poke yeah. a hole in it. Yeah. Go on. No, um, but that was Earth below, wasn't it? Presumably. Yeah, but they're in space. Yeah, I know they're in space. Yeah, I know they're in space. But like, I was just like, oh look, there's the Earth, center of Starfleet, effectively. Star Trek, uh, Star um, Base, whatever it is, Alpha, or something like that. Um, tons of ships, fireworks. Yeah, why not? You know, it's kind of nice to see them, sort of like you know, just having a laugh. Would it happen in in the vacuum of space, though? James? I'm sure they could figure it out. Yeah, but, um, right and they did but yeah I, I understand what you're saying i did think that as well i thought oh well they're enjoying themselves just, aren't just they? Let, let, let it be yeah just let it be, let it be. We... oh what i did notice um oh. is they had a uss dr pulaski they did I yeah had that as well do you know what uh, that, that only now you've said that that i figured out that was yeah, uh, named after yeah, it was Dr. P I was at, uh, USS uh, Pulaski after, yeah. well, must be after Dr. Pulaski. Why put it yeah. in? Otherwise... I thought it would be about the 1980s well, like detective series. That, she uh, was a great doctor. She, I bet she would have figured out her son was born. Oh, yeah, we liked her, didn't we? Yeah, she was yeah. like, pro proper hard ass. She was a proper ship's yeah. doctor. She was almost oh, like a, yeah. she was almost she was like so a sort clever of, as well. She, she was almost like an army doctor, you know? Yeah. Like, like she was really sort of like proper tough and... She, she was really horrible to date her at first, but then yeah. you think, well, okay. But yeah. but like she was a surgeon, she was like oh, yeah. top like medical, like she was coming up with all these theories and stuff, like medical mm. theories of that. She she figured out so much stuff. She was great, great. That's what you want in a doctor. She Absolutely. doesn't have to be lovely and you know cuddly and nice. No, exactly. Yeah, Especially yeah. You want to be competent. Which... Competent. She was competent. fucking competent. But like Plasky. a hard ass as well, because she was like, I mean, especially on a starship that, I mean, you know, this is the problem with things like Discovery and stuff. It's like everyone's just so sort of like talking about their feelings and stuff. And like, but you are, I mean, they, it's an ex, they always say, you know, we're not a military organization. We're an exploration thing. But it's like, you kind of are. Like if you have yeah, to, they go to training. You know I mean? Yeah, they don't know how to fight and stuff. Do you know what I mean, red alert every you know every ten minutes, it's red yeah. alert and their phases and shit. They wouldn't have them. So, so you kind of that's why the sort of chain of command thing, this sort of standby military footing, is is kind of there. You know, it's like yeah, it's, an, it's, off, it's, a it. yeah, yeah. it's a necessary sort of part of Star Trek. You know, even though that you know it's it's a last resort. Well, it's supposed to be a last resort. So, so basically, we see Starbase, and then we see um, <clears throat> we see an Enterprise F, which is sort of the latest iteration of the Enterprise. And I was like, oh, that's, oh, that's, kind, right. of, that's kind of cool, you know. Never seen mm -hmm. that shit before, but like, okay, that's great. And then we have the woman, Admiral Shelby, saying um, very enthusiastic. And I had to stop then and go, Who the f "Who's this?" Because I kind of thought, "Who's that?" So Admiral Shelby. But then she was in um, the Next Generation. She was a Borg expert. Yeah, um, she was in. Yeah, that she was in the episode um, uh, "Best of Both Worlds" when they encounter the Borg. Yeah, um, it's, it's. I think it's on end of season three, uh, last two episodes of that, and she's a bit like full of herself and stuff, but she is really brilliant. Yeah, and she gets in uh, Riker's face a lot. She's she's not protect particularly respectful towards yeah. him they're both the same grade by the way she was a commander and yeah. he was a commander 
and they'd sort of collaborated with this other ship um, to figure out. And then she came up with how to identify uh, a Borg signature. She came up with an idea of how to um, cycle uh, the phases to cause damage to a Borg ship, you know, because it's always... um, And that was, yeah, it it changes its sort of polarity. Yeah, they've got it. They've got to, yeah. They've got to change the frequency of the phases all the time yeah. Yeah. because the bulk and it's got to be on a tight beam or something. Yeah. Um, but um, to actually affect it, because obviously they adapt every single time you shoot them. So she was actually pretty brilliant. Yeah. And she's an admiral now, which you know, well deserved and all that. But in the at the time, she really got in Mike's face, and she was a little bit um, disrespectful to him. But again, they are the same. Yeah level they were both commanders at the time so she had her way of doing stuff he had his way of doing stuff but yeah anyway yeah that was that was yeah i mean that it was good to see you know it's good that they've got another character like that you know um sort of coming back that it was yeah, yeah. part of not just part of tng but part of the borg mythos coming back yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah great moment yeah there, there was a moment sort of i think after um as they're on their way there i think where um we have uh, Picard's just sort of like, oh, fucking Borg. Like, and he's proper like, and he realises that, you know, he thinks it's, it's all his fault. It's not his fault, but like, I mean, it is, but it isn't, you know, he's not responsible for it, but he's, in, you know, if without him, it wouldn't have happened. So he's yeah, like but, this. But he's and, not, and now, he's <clears throat> absolutely not responsible for it. No. I mean, he was, he was abducted. But like they, could, they couldn't have done it without him, let's put it that way. No, you that's know, true. Like, but um, I mean, he had no idea. And they abducted him and they no. turned him into a tool again. Tool. <laughs> yeah, but, um, tool. But there's, there's a moment, I think, when Data's like, you know, is there anything I can say or something? And he's like, Picard's like, there's nothing you can say. And Data just sort of like puts his hand on his shoulder and you yeah. can just see Picard's just like, that's what I needed. He needs a hug. And Data now can do that stuff, you know. And again, they're like, oh, Data now is more human. He's, you know, he's a bit not, we're enjoying it. He's, he's, emp- he's empathetic, yeah. Yeah, he has yeah. a couple of good moments, actually, Data, during the whole uh, the whole thing. He's like, um, there's a great one later on when <clears throat> he says, um, what does he say? He says something like, oh, we're all going to die or something like that. And Geordie's like, you need to be a bit more positive. And he goes, I hope we die quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I thought yeah. was kind of funny. I think Data has been great this whole yeah. series, actually. Yeah. Like, the whole, like the last couple of episodes, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> they've had to wade out of a hell of a, um, a mire to, to get yeah. to this point. He's but they've done brilliant. such a good job. Like, yeah. All of them have done such a good job. Yeah, it's great. I mean, so so then we've got Shelby's sort of like looking all all happy, and she's like, "Yeah, and we're gonna test out our new fleet maneuver." Yeah. So you know, whatever. What do you call it? I can't remember what they were calling it. Where they get all the f- fleet formation. Right. Oh yeah, that was a big thing. They'd connected yeah. all the ships by Wi-Fi or something. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and, and so into, now yeah. they're like they can um, go in formation without having to send messages to each other it'll yeah. do it automatically they kind can go taking the, yeah taking the people out of the equation really so in a way they assimilate themselves well you know? this is it i mean yeah. i think that's kind of like a message about how connected we are today yeah um, hubris i would call that hubris because that hubris. seems like something that could be taken advantage of although the way they did, the borg did take advantage of it was i didn't see any of that come in no, um, I mean, we knew there was something wrong with the transporters, but we didn't yeah. know what. And, and, and it, it turns so, out that's what the, the changeling's role in that was, was to in, to fucking, they were basically putting DNA sequences in the um, transporter system so that pretty much any single person who got transported had their fucking DNA altered yeah. by, by the fucking Borg. And like, it's been going on for ages. Yeah. And like... Um, because I was like, bloody hell. Well, you have to be under 25. Yeah, see, that was great. I thought that was absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Because, like, I mean, I thought that was great. I mean, sort of, move, yeah, moving ahead a bit there, you see, um, you know, she's like, you know, it's it's only great developing, you know, like if your brain is fully developed, being transported, that DNA won't sort of proliferate or whatever. 
but so basically I was just like, fuck yeah, the fucking old <laughs> people are going to save the day. And, um, but also I wondered if it was like, I also thought, thought that thing was maybe this is just my brain because I'm old. It's almost like a, a, a comment on today's youth. Do you know what I mean? It's like they're all like, just fucking like it's got their own they're thing going up on. To the it's, internet. It's got they're all drones. Yeah, it's got nothing. You know, they're just like diff, almost a different species from us now, and they're all fucking like just you know no, don't take prisoners. I thought that was great, um, and I thought that that was really well done. The fact that, that you know they're giving the old people aren't out of the game. Totally not. You know, it's like, um, and I think you know even Diana Diana says. Um, you know, I've never been so glad to see so many wrinkles. It's like, yeah, it's kind of funny. I, I loved that. I thought that was brilliant. It's, it's an ingenious way as well for them to. Well, yeah, that. like a DNA transport system, yeah. and it's got it, it's it's part of the architecture of Starfleet. Yeah, they've made yeah, like, it. At that point, I was like, they're fucked. Like they've they've won. Do you know what Anyone I mean? Anyone like, who's been through a transporter is now Borg. Yeah, yeah. if they're under twenty five. If they're under yeah. twenty five, are effectively yeah. Borg. So yeah. yeah, I was at that point. I was like, "Shit, like they're done, man." Um, yeah. So I mean, so we. I, I mean, have, if you look have, at yeah, if you look at most sort of um, you know, military, these people are mostly under twenty five. You know, so that is going to be like eighty percent of yeah. every military organization on the planet. I mean, I wondered if like if it was just. Starfleet itself, like, would it be happening on the ground on the planets? Because these transporters all the well, time it was on the part ground. of Starfleet's code now. So yeah. I don't know if like transporters, like you no know, civilian ones, would have been infected with no, that. Yeah. But I suppose, like, if the you know, if, it's if just any a of... mi- it's a minor point. But yeah. Well, no, but I mean, if if um, you know the change rooms had got a few key places yeah. on transport systems on the planet, you know, where yeah. you want to, you know, beam to America, to yeah, uh, Iran or something. Yeah. Then you could the get transport could technicians be, yeah. there. People and then you can stimulate from, all them people as well. Yeah. The people are Most transporting the from planet. Earth up to ships constantly all the time as well. So, you know, there could be like another civil war on the ground going on as well. Like there that. could be, yeah. Um, I think it would make it more interesting if they hadn't done that because then at least there'd be some population on Earth to fight back. And... Um, and it might be too the tricky. People. The old people, yeah, yeah. Um, but oh, yeah, course. but yeah. I mean, we'll find out. We've got another episode yeah. to turn up. One more episode, but it was in- um, ingenious. I never saw. I never saw that coming at all. But then, no. of course, we, of course, we have a great sort of scene there where they, when they figure this out, and they're on the bridge, and then yeah. they're like, "Right, Ensign, something or other." get us out of here and he, you can only see him from behind you know and he's just yeah. sort of like yeah i'm not i'm not gonna do it my impression yeah it's brilliant it was good that wasn't it yeah yeah um, if, if that's it, not it a took me spot, back just the light it took me yeah. back to the <laughs> it took moment me back yeah it took my back you're back yeah no back. it's sinister isn't it because they're not answering yeah but then of course we you know and we think okay fuck but then he like proper like his eyes go shitty and his skin goes bollocks and stuff coming out of his ears, probes and things. And then, of course, we pan over to Sydney and we're like, oh, fuck. And like, you're standing there, isn't he? Yeah. And she's like, we, but then she said, we are the Borg. Yeah. It's usually we are Borg, isn't it? But, you know, they've updated it for the youth. I don't know. It put the, put the D in. Yeah. For the youth. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I mean, well, I'm, at least you didn't like spat out some fucking emojis. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we're the Borg bitches. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what we should do, like, like green that. face. <laughs> yeah. Or if she, instead of saying it, she just got a phone out and went like that. Like, and then everyone's phone beeps and it said, We are the Borg. And she went, Yeah. That would or be just, great. just be like heart, green face. Yeah. You're in shit emoji. Posting on Facebook, we are the Borg. Yeah. People use Facebook anymore. Well, but, but anyway. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that was great. So, yeah. so it's like, right, now we need to stun everyone. Um, so, you know, can't shit, because fuck shit, they're going to have to kill him. They're going to have to kill him. Jordy's not going to have that. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, sure, put his, you know, two cents in there and said, no, we'll go stun. Yeah. And, oh, oh sure. fuck. Sure. I've got that written down here. Sure, exclamation mark twice. I know. What the fuck? I'm hoping he's not dead, but I think he is. 
if they, I don't know if there's any, maybe they'll sa- save him and nanoprobe him and get him back up. I mean, maybe. I mean, Seven did. I don't know if they're going to like pretend this didn't happen, but Seven did bring back Neelix 18 hours after death. Yeah, I remember saying about that. With the yeah. nanoprobes. I, I mean, I was like, that was, I mean, that was, again, a huge moment in the show. I was like, no, because first of yeah. all, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, she's always been shot again. Like, he just keeps getting his I thought, oh, I thought, as soon as that happened, I, I thought, he's he's going to get killed. Yeah. Well, not killed, but messed up. Because it's, it's like the fourth time now yeah. that he's been messed up. Um, and it was it was really sad. Mm. And, and I, I, I'm upset that he's gone. I am. So, I mean, you know, I mean. So I, I hope he gets assimilated and then he's fine. I hope so. You know? I've got a feeling yeah. it won't. I don't think they'll do it because I think the writers are too good on this episode to sort of do mm. something like that, you know. Because if like if he just comes back, oh, I'm fine now. I was just a heck, you know, it was just a um, yeah, shot in the brain. I get it. Yeah, but, um, I get it. it's in it, a powerful it, it's, moment. But yeah. it, it's it's a nightmare. Maybe that's why you know that like the online chatter about the whole Shaw thing is sort of like. I mean, they kept that very quiet as well. But mm. I thought it was a real shame because I really liked. I really liked. I wasn't Shaw. expecting it yeah. at all. I mean, I thought he'd get messed up, and I thought like maybe, yeah. you know, um, Bev for fuck's sake would do some doctoring, you yeah. know, sort him out. But no, no. Uh, yeah, I was, I was really, I mean, so, really yeah. upset about that. So her and Seven had, him and Seven had a little moment which was quite good. She was kind of yeah. like she seemed upset, and he was sort of very respectful. So you have the con now. It's you, the ship is yours now. But maybe that was a little dig because basically they had to leave straight away. They got taken <laughs> over by the Borg. <laughs> you can have the ship now. It's yours. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Um, that would that was kind of... Uh, but yeah, that was... That oh, was what I really shit. liked about bad. Seven in this episode is she said uh, at one point, the robot is correct. Now that's a oh, Seven yeah. moment. Yeah, that was that good. Is a, yeah, that is back that, yeah. to her self. That is, yeah. yeah Data just like, what the hell? It's like, what the fuck? It probably yeah. Offended. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, yeah. that was great. I love miss, that. That's how just, she used yeah. to speak to people. Did you just miss species me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, like, this is right. it. Yeah, yeah so no, that, that was great. that was really good. That was great actually. I, yeah. I did notice that. Um, there's there's a moment. Um, that um, I think that they're basically trying to. They need to get off the ship now because, like you know, they can't. Yeah, the ball kill everyone. Ball everywhere. everywhere. The young people are going crazy. Um, you know, they can't kill them. So you know, luckily there's a deck which doesn't have people on it or something, maintenance deck or something. But but there's a moment lucky. where like lucky, they're, lucky, they're basically stuck down there. All the old people sort of hiding in the tunnels, and um, and Geordie goes because um, they're like, we need to get out of here and go somewhere. And Nick and Geordie goes, no, I've got a better idea. And at that point, I thought he was going to put out his phaser and shoot himself in the head. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> I've, I've Why? I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Um, <laughs> for me personally, I just thought if he did that and they all went, fuck, what are we going to do now? But he didn't yeah. do that. And I don't know why I mentioned it. But <laughs> So basically, they, they, they get a, sh- a repair shuttle because there's repair shuttles. Fair enough. Seen them before, I think. Um, and then they they skedaddle and basically get out of there and end up back at um the fleet museum the museum yeah yeah and that was another great moment because i was oh, like yeah. oh no is it is it gonna is be? it gonna be is it and then the doors open that was the moment where i went <laughs> enterprise d enterprise d the actual thing yeah and like geordie's been you know oh in my spare time i just rebuilt i've got actual starship. fucking lights in there yeah it's like on his own he's done that um, but like that was great. See, that was really good moment seeing that, yeah. and they're all just like, "Wow, that's fucking amazing, man!" Geordie, yeah, brilliant. it was good. You're, oh, Geordie's been great in this series as well. Oh, actually. he's been great. He's been really, really good. And like, he's had some really good like emotion shots as well. He's really yeah. showed emotion. It's been yeah, great. He's, he's like, it's just he's a, you know he's a father, but he's still an engineer, and he's got this kind of job which is kind of back scenes. But that's him. That's what he's like. He's not a yeah, he's a, he's a proper engineer, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So I thought that all of that was really well done. But then they transfer onto the ship and there's just, a, you know, a fantastic, great moment, you know, when they go onto the bridge and that. And as soon as the door opened, I was like, you just recognise it. Even though all the lights are off, you just see him come out of the turbo lift like that. And it's just like really yeah. great, really, really good. I thought that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, maybe for younger people, they wouldn't 
find that as exciting but for someone who's you know no, it was a gift. 30 years ago you know it was great it's a gift for the fans that's what it yeah. was yeah and, and picard makes a joke doesn't he? he's like you know after all this time and you know you think he's going to say something really profound yeah like you know the, the one thing i've realized in this moment what i miss is the carpet a yeah. fucking carpet and because you can think yeah why would, a, why would you have carpet on a spaceship because all you knew was don't but like, well, it helps like, attraction, doesn't it? We're walking around. Yeah, I would imagine. Sort of Grey carpet. But I thought, mm. so that must have been maybe an in joke, in Star Trek joke. People would be like, would you have a Star Trek? You know, because like you never see anyone hoovering that, like, you know, at night. Well, that's what I was like thinking. That. As soon as you said carpet, I was thinking about cleaners and hoovers. Yeah. But maybe they've got but, little robot ones that go around, you know? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. They've probably got data to do it. <laughs> With a penny. You'd be like, no, it's I don't mind. On. Oh, I don't mind at all. Anything to help. Um, so, so that was, that was great. Um, so, so basically that what their plan there is, um, what, what, you know, what do we do now? It's like, right, we need to go back to earth. One ship, you know, is one ship. Yeah. I did enough? wonder about that. I was thinking, yeah. what the fuck? You only got a plan. I thought, I thought they were going to say, can we use the fleet formation technology and bring the whole, all the ones from the fleet museum. So you could have had the Klingon bird of prey. Yeah, but and, then they would the get dauntless. sucked up by the bull, couldn't they? Yeah, ex exactly. That was the thing. But I mean, I did think, you know, like, is one ship going to be enough? But there's only a handful of them as well, only a handful of crew. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to um, do. So, I mean, are there no other people on the Titan that were over the age of 25? Because did this leave everyone else behind? Uh, well, yeah, I think no. they were a skeleton crew anyway, because they went over to the That's um, changing true. ship. They, they did talk about that. And then um, you would imagine that most of the people on there would be under 25, you know, military, yeah. whatever. Because that's their peak, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I mean, once you start, I mean, doctors and maybe captains and stuff like that can afford to be a bit older. Yeah. You know, maybe commanders and stuff like that. But really, they're all going to be fairly young, yeah. I would have thought. Yeah, it's a gift, man. Yeah. This whole This whole episode is a, a complete gift. Def best episode so far. Best yeah. episode of the whole of Picard so far, I thought, you know. And it, it like now we know what's going on, you know, like so Vadic and what have you, they I mean, you know, they were in an alliance. Yeah, I didn't Borg, I didn't know, get uh, the connection because I thought, well, the Borg aren't gonna gonna, gonna be able to, you know, um but, assimilate but I them. That, well, I think that's the point. It's like they knew like we can't assimilate them, so we'll use them. You know, a, or, yeah, or use they ally, use each other. Yeah. They use their hatred of Starfleet. I mean, it's perfect, really. You know, absolutely else, perfect. You'd never think of like a better alliance. I mean, they're absolutely screwed. Starfleet yeah. are absolutely fucked, man. You no. Know? Yeah, they've been and completely. It's so, like there was like thousands. Hubris. Yeah, it was thousands and thousands of ships ready to to launch on Earth now. Yeah, they're going to take out all their defenses. They're going to be yeah. open to. And that, yeah, that's just a huge mistake. That whole fleet formation thing was just like, that's just, you know, you're taking away free will and, you know, you might as well just not have bloody people on the ships anymore if you're going to do that. So that's that's like a, I mean, that was their mistake. It was, was making a decision that was more Borg-like than human. Yeah, know? it was um, a, it's a total message about how yeah. being an individual is a good idea. Yeah, and yeah. being over 25, yeah. <laughs> but again, again, that's why I thought the young people sort of all like, we're all the same, we're all the same, deaf to the old, you know, I was like... <laughs> NPCs. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I know what you're talking about, man, do you know what I mean? I, I'm still on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's fantastic. <laughs> total gift. It was a total gift, that. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, a, it was um, yeah, fantastic episode. So they're back. Can't wait the for the next one. Yeah, and like so, so what do you think is going to happen now? Are more people going to die? I have no well, idea. Die. I Picard's don't. Gonna like, die I've well. got no. Like I thought, they're going back to Earth. What the fuck are they going to do? I mean, they're going to have to hide from an entire fleet of thousands upon thousands of ships with all their sensors blaring, and you know, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what Un they're going to do. Unless, unless Jack. Jack takes over the ball queen yeah because now he can transmit things i mean there's that um, well he's been plugged in now hasn't he because he was on the cube oh yeah and it, you said it was all a bit you know like you do a bit of a tidy yeah. personally you know a bit bleach and then um he went in had a word with the queen 
she's being all imperious. Yeah. Um, but you're my son and all that rest of it. And um, then they plug him in. Yeah. And she so says, he's, he's really yeah. the only hope. She says, yeah, resistance is futile. And then she's like, <laughs> but all that, I think yeah, maybe, I mean, he's always been an outsider. So that's his identity. Um, and he's got his own identity. He's old enough for that. Yeah, I like um, him. I like him as a character. He's grown yeah, on he's, me, you know. Yeah, like, he's totally yeah. grown on me. Um, so he might feel initially the comfort of having thousands of people and being in a collective like that. Mm. But I think he'll find it too restrictive. And at that point, um, right, yeah. So I think he's going to uh, he's going to have to sort of. Um be the saving grace as well as them doing something the they'll do people. something raphael pumps pull something out of the bag yeah. or something seven yeah. i hope i hope seven gets some more really good lines she's um, totally like turned a corner in the last couple of episodes from just that one sentence the, yeah. ro uh, the robot is correct that's yeah, per that's perfect that yeah. is perfect seven that's yeah. great, yeah. Because I mean, she's more she's more fucking robot than bloody Data is at this point, you know. Data, because yeah. Data was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, that's a great um, moment. Yeah, it was really, really good. Um, yeah. So, so should we wrap it up now? I th I think that's kind of yeah that last episode covered, which was great. Uh, you know, some really great moments, terrible moments. Poor old Shaw. Oh, still I know. kind of like you know hoping against hope that he's not going to be dead, but or maybe we'll see him at the end and he's up on crutches and they'll be like, "You're alive," and he's like, "Oh, you can't keep the old dog down or something." He'll have one silver eye. Yeah, where he couldn't take the the implants out. Or something. something great like that, you know, yeah. would be brilliant because I think he's I think he's great, and it's weird because I'm not quite sure why i think it's just because he's a normal person he's just a normal guy he's like, likable strangely he's, yes he's it's, got ptsd he's and, got know, charm like, he's got a bit yeah, of charm he has got charm he is i mean he is very capable but also he's i mean i think it's the fact he's an engineer so he's a practical guy men Realistic. men doing practical things he's a he's guy he's not perfect and i think that's you know that's what's missing in sort of discovery and stuff like that it's just yeah. everyone's perfect yeah you know what i mean whereas he's like totally flawed but like you know people respect him and stuff to a point which is a shame he got killed off you know um well, let's hope he know. comes back i mean people have come back from worse things in star yeah. trek so you could always do a fucking prequel series with him i mean i, d I don't agree with prequel series but no. you could always do that you know um yeah I wouldn't do it just for that though. They could bring no. him back easy. Christ, they brought Spock back. You know, yeah. maybe they could stick him in the in the um, what do you call that thing? So, but let's hang on a minute. So, when they went to the Fleet Museum, did Seven and Raffi didn't go? Did they? Did they stay on the Titan? I think they, they might have done. No, I don't know. They must have what... done. They must have all remember. gone together. They couldn't have stayed on the Titan. Because I'm just thinking now where they're there in the... Because uh... Worf was on the bridge. It was only the bridge crew that were on the bridge. Yeah. Um, Seven wasn't there. Raffi wasn't there. Because I but know they, they were like... They couldn't leave them behind. But I don't know if that was... if that was, See, my memory's failing me now. But see, I got I got the feeling because like Seven was like, I'm going to stay. And Raffi was like, I'm staying with you. So, you know... Yeah, no, just... but, but they, they, they got past that a bit. And then that's yeah. where we got the line, the robot's correct or something. Oh, shit. So yeah. I think they all went on the shuttle. Was that then. on the Enterprise, was it? On the, uh, the Titan, then on the shuttle, and then and on she, the Enterprise, yeah. you only see the bridge crew on the bridge. You don't yeah. see Seven. <laughs> so when did she say the line, the robot is correct? Is it was the when they were getting onto the, the shuttle. Okay. Because I, I just thought... Well, at least I made... think it is. I'll have to watch I, it again. Yeah. See, that. I mean, that point, I mean, that would be an out for sure. That would, you know, like if, if the Titan is part of the fleet, you know, they think it's been taken over and Seven Raffi and Dead Shaw are, you know, and like maybe they would be part of the battle when they come back. But I, I'm not quite sure now. I, I mean, there's a little, because I'm just thinking know. when I saw the image of them all on the bridge, it was Star Trek Next Generation crew and that had nothing to do with Seven or Raffi. I don't remember seeing them there. No. Or maybe they were down in 10 forward. Maybe. Yeah, you know, exactly. Maybe Guinan's there. Oh, fuck's sake, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. I hope not. Yeah. All right, <laughs> um, that's a good place to leave it. 
I think it is. Yeah. So we don't know, you know, we're not sure what's going to happen. I mean, well, we know what's going to happen. They're going to have to defeat the Borg or, or the or dead. And humanity's going to have to learn a lesson about um, individuality and not act like the fucking Borg mm. by droning everyone up. Yeah. But I thought, yeah, I thought that was um, really great. It was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Terry Masalis, nice one. Yeah, he's the man. Yeah. So, and everybody uh, yeah. else on the crew, F- yeah. fucking great, great um, episode. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's done a great job, yeah. yeah. So next week is the last one, episode yeah. 10, I think. Yeah, no, it Shit. is. Shit, what am I going to watch after this? Uh, if anyone's got any suggestions, yeah, yeah. If anyone's uh, got any the... other sci-fi suggestions for us to watch, uh, let us know. I'm sure there's plenty out there. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, please remember to like and subscribe if you want to. <laughs> That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah please. Yeah. Thank you. Please, yeah. Go on. <laughs> you know you want to. I swear, I'll swear a bit more if it will help with ratings. Be controversial. Yeah. Right, All we'll right. leave there then. I'll see you next time. All right, bye then. Bye.